All right, and welcome back. So today we are going to be talking about section 2.5, which is all about perpendicular lines. By the end of this video, we should be able to apply the definition and theorems about perpendicular lines. So please have out your guided notes. Let's begin. So on the right hand side, we are given a diagram involving lines K and L. So two lines that intersect to form right angles are perpendicular lines. So if we are given that line K is perpendicular to line L, then angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four are right angles. And again, so if you notice, we have that perpendicular sign. It looks like an upside down T. That is shorthand for perpendicular. So, so long as you want to use that in a clean and logical manner, by all means, go for it. So the definition of perpendicular lines, like all definitions, is a biconditional. It is given below as two conditional statements. So if two lines are perpendicular, then they form right angles. And if two lines form right angles, then the lines are perpendicular. So we have perpendicular lines have the following properties. If two lines are perpendicular, then they form congruent adjacent angles. If two lines form congruent adjacent angles, then the lines are perpendicular. If the exterior sides of two adjacent acute angles are perpendicular, then the angles are also going to be complementary. So if we have ray AB is perpendicular to ray AC, then the angle BAD and angle DAC are complementary. Because if we have two rays that are perpendicular to each other, that means they form a right angle. And we know right angles have a degree measurement of 90 degrees. So therefore, the two complementary angles or the two angles that are formed are going to be complementary. So in this example, we're asked to name the definition or state the theorem that justifies a statement about the diagram. So we are asked statement A, if line WY is perpendicular to line ZX, then angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four are right angles. Statement B, if angle one is congruent to angle four, then line WY is perpendicular to line ZX. And C, if the measure of angle one is equal to 90, then line WY is perpendicular to line ZX. And we're given the diagram on the right hand side. So when it comes to the solutions of these, A is gonna be the definition of perpendicular lines. B is if two lines form congruent adjacent angles, then the lines are perpendicular. Exactly how you see it, that is completely fine to write it. That's shorthand, that's completely fine because it makes logical sense if we were to read it. And C is gonna be the definition of perpendicular lines. Awesome, with this in mind, please work on problems one through seven on the guided notes, and please resume when you're ready to move forward. So in this second example, we're given a diagram on the right hand side, and we're also given that if ray ZW is perpendicular to ray ZY, then the measure of angle one is equal to five X, the measure of angle two is equal to two X minus one, and we're asked to find the value of X. And again, there's a lot being thrown out here, but the first thing that we want to identify is that ray ZW is perpendicular to ray ZY, so we have complementary angles. Angle one and angle two are going to be complementary to each other because we have a right angle being formed. Well, we know that when two angles are complementary, we know the measures of those two angles are equal to 90 degrees. So the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to 90 degrees. And now we can substitute in our given values and we can solve using algebra and we're gonna find that X is gonna be equal to 13. Awesome, great job kiddos, keep up the great work. Please let me know if you have any questions, but please work on problems eight through 13. Keep making yourself proud. Again, let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon.